Welcome back to another Division 2 build guide. I'm Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and today we are going to be taking a look at the skill build that you are going to want to assemble for Title Update 12. Now, in general, skill builds have always been strong, but with TU-12 and the addition of skill-centric exotics, skill builds are now extremely powerful, and every agent should have at least one of these builds in their inventory. But before we begin today's video, if you haven't yet smashed that sub button for intensive division content, please do so. And don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another upload notification from my YouTube channel. You can also support the channel by watching the entire video, liking and sharing the video, and of course, leaving your feedback in the comment section below. Links to support my content creation outside of YouTube include Patreon and Teespring, both links in the video description below. All right, let's dive into this skill build. Now to take out some of the legwork for you, I've done the testing at the range with multiple configurations. I tried Kinetic Momentum, Glass Cannon, the Harmony Rifle, the Capacitor, the Force Multiplier Backpack, and several other pieces of gear and weaponry. And this build is the one I settled on if you are wanting to push out the absolute most skill damage possible. I built my skill build around the Technician specialization, namely for the extra 10% skill damage, and if you are taking on Black Tusk, the dismantling perk of plus 12% damage to drones, skill proxies, and robotics will be helpful. Now there is a bit of flex in this build with the Amped perk, as it awards the build plus one skill tier, and I could technically change one of my gear pieces from skill tier to weapon damage and still be at skill tier six, and I may do that in the future but that would also drop my damage output with my primary weapon ever so slightly. Your call, but if your gear isn't exactly what you want it to be, you do have the ability to run one red core attribute and still get the most damage out of your skills. Taking a quick look at the build, and you can see that I'm using three pieces of Empress International brand set gear, one piece of Hana Yu, one piece of Wyvern, and the new exotic waveform holster along with the exotic capacitor assault rifle. Now relax if you can't slot in the pieces exactly the way that I have, as the order doesn't really matter except for the holster and the backpack. You can also use two pieces of Hana Yu and still get the same damage effects as using one piece and one piece of Wyvern. Again, your call. Okay, diving into the individual gear pieces and I am using a Wyvern mask for the plus 10% skill damage with skill damage and skill haste attributes along with a skill haste mod. For the body armor, I am using my first piece of Empress International along with skill damage and skill haste attributes and again, a skill haste mod. The talent I have chosen is Glass Cannon, as the 25% amp damage, which by the way is multiplicative damage, does apply to your skills. Now the only downside to using Glass Cannon is the fact that all incoming damage is also amplified, therefore multiplied, by 50%. But we are going full commitment to damage output, so this is the best choice. The holster is the new exotic, the Waveform. And FYI, you will either need to own the Warlords of New York DLC, which in turn grants you all the seasons, or have purchased Season 4 separately to get access to the Waveform at Season Rank 90. Now the reason we are using the Waveform is for the talent of Alternating Current. Now there's a lot of text here for the holster talent, but the TLDR version is that it builds up a skill damage stack of plus 30% for one of your skills and it stays there for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds is over, it will transfer over to your other skill and this will keep occurring every 10 seconds. While using the waveform, you will notice that one of your skills is consistently hitting harder than normal with that extra skill damage buff. For the backpack, I am using one piece of Hana Yu and this is a specific piece of Hana Yu as it is the named Force Multiplier Backpack. Now the one piece of Hana Yu grants the build plus 10% skill haste and I am using skill damage and skill haste as attributes along with a skill haste mod. Now the reason we are using the named Force Multiplier is for the perfect combined arms talent of plus 30% skill damage for three seconds for shooting an enemy. Now you can also use the non-perfect version of this talent for plus 25% skill damage for three seconds if you don't have the Force Multiplier backpack. The gloves are my second piece of Empress International with skill haste and skill damage as the attributes. 
for the knee pads, I am using my third and final piece of Empress International with skill damage and skill haste attributes. Now the three pieces of Empress grants this build plus 10% skill health to give them a bit more resiliency against enemy damage, plus 10% skill damage for more output, and 10% skill efficiency. Now, skill efficiency is a strong bonus that not many agents really know how it works, but it combines all skill-related bonuses into one header. So, the 10% skill efficiency actually gives this build 10% buffs to skill damage, haste, duration, health, repair skills, and status effects. For the weaponry, this build is all about the Capacitor Exotic Assault Rifle and its weapon talent of Capacitance. Now the idea here is to build up the skill damage stacks of plus 1.5% to a max stack of 40 just by shooting enemies. Now it's not really going to be that difficult. And once you are to max stacks, Capacitance will grant your build plus 60% skill damage. In addition, for each skill tier you have on your build, you will gain plus 7.5% weapon damage. And since I am at a skill tier 6, I gain plus 45% weapon damage just by using and equipping the capacitor. Now right now, the only way to get the capacitor is by completing 5 challenges on the summit in one ascent. It's not really that hard to complete, as you can lower the difficulty settings even down to normal or hard before attempting your challenges. For my secondary weapon, I am using the named Harmony Rifle for the extra range when I can't easily connect with a capacitor. Perfectly in sync is still a strong weapon talent to pair with any skill build, and rifles add that extra pop at medium to longer distances. Damage to armor is a smart attribute to add to your harmony to stack onto your skills. Another solid choice in weaponry would be the Mechanical Animal because it has decent base damage and the Future Perfection weapon talent is an easy way to get your skill builds onto overcharge and pushing out even more skill damage. For the talents, you want to use the Assault Turret and I have equipped a Health Mod, Damage Mod, and a Skill Haste Mod. For the second skill, go with the Striker Drone with Duration, Damage, and Health Mods. Now I've been asked to show my Shade Watch in past build guides and at the time of this recording I am at a Shade level of 1324. So at this point, all my attributes are at max levels and in terms of skills, that means I am getting plus 10% skill damage, plus 10% skill repair, plus 20% skill duration, and plus 10% skill haste from my Shade Watch. So the idea behind this max damage title update 12 skill build is to get into cover deploy your skills and then build up those stacks on the capacitor. You need to fire your weapon and hit a target every three seconds to proc perfectly combined arms on the backpack and the rest is just letting your skills tear the enemy a new one. Glass Cannon is an all or nothing talent as it does give you the most skill damage potential but at the expense of your survivability. An alternate body armor talent choice would be to use Kinetic Momentum, as it will give you more resiliency against incoming damage at the expense of just a little skill damage output. You can also use the Exotic Memento Backpack in place of the Waveform Holster, as at max skill damage stacks it will match the Waveform for output, but you will need to land the Killing Blow and collect those trophies as quickly as possible. Now, if you plan on using Glass Cannon in tandem with the Memento, prepare to be downed quickly and often. Also, by using the Memento Backpack, you will replace the Force Multiplier and all the skill damage it brings to the table. That is going to wrap up the build portion of this guide, and I invite you to stay tuned for clips of me using this exact build solo on heroic difficulty missions and control points. And as always, if you are not yet a sub, please smash that sub button and ring the bell to never miss another upload notification from my YouTube channel. If you like the video, rate it with a thumbs up, if not with a thumbs down. Links to support my content creation include Patreon and Teespring, both in the video description below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for all my latest thoughts on most things gaming related with a heavy emphasis on The Division. And until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.